For some questing and serious adventuring, it's time to take a look at some mod packs with some quests and features that lets you go on an RPG expedition. These are the top 10 mod packs with quests. Number 10 in the sea. When a team of researchers went on a long expedition to study the Bermuda Triangle, a team of 16 researchers faced some strange happenings on the 11th night. After sailing for 10 nights, the 11th night was when they hit something hard. As you awaken to a strange, unfamiliar place, you must first figure out what happened and solve the riddle. Most of all, you must survive. With a custom map, all inclusive scripts, and a set of quests, this underwater mod pack is thrilling. This mod pack is basically an underwater mod pack in which you must survive underwater in a biosphere of sorts, facing many different unique challenges and progressions as you attempt to conquer all of the goals that you face in order to complete your journey of self-sustenance in a brand new environment. Some of the great mods included in this pack are Blood Magic, Blood Moon, Cooking for Blockheads, Ender.io, Forestry, Immersive Engineering, Storage Drawers and more. It uses the better questing mod as a core base for its questing system, which is a huge plus. Number 9, Chroma Technology 2. As a successor and sequel to the original pack of the same name, this mod pack strives to help you along the way throughout your adventure. With an all new quest system that shows you how to do things the right way, there's plenty of challenges to beat over the course of the gameplay. The world is very dangerous in this mod pack, so you must be careful as there's plenty of different mystical creatures and evolved mobs, including huge giant dragons that give a fear factor when playing. The core goal of this pack is to advance through the ages to work throughout a set list of technological phases with modified crafts. Although rest assured, the pack is made to not be too difficult, perhaps making it appealing to first time modders. You can get creative with the recipes here and there's a new way of discovering brand new mods, such as the highly appraised create mod in which you can make beautiful contraptions. There's many classic mods in this pack to explore too, such as the thermal series of mods, for an example thermal expansion, the applied energistics mod, mechanism, refined storage and the ice and fire dragons mod, which is one of my personal fantasy favourite mods. It's recommended to have around 8GB of RAM though, at least to play this pack optimally, with 10GB being even more stable. Number 8 Ocean Outcast Why not feature another water themed mod pack in this list? Because they're simply awesome and rather unique. Ocean Outcast is very heavily inspired by the Skyblock game mode, although it's based upon an ocean world which features 100% randomly generated islands. Many of the ores in the game are gone as it's based upon the Skyblock model, with the magical ores and fossils managing to stay behind due to the punishments the gods have placed on humans for their play in what happened to Atlantis. As you can see, this pack is based upon a story with lore which makes things all the more interesting with mod packs. This pack features north of 900 quests with many more to come in future updates, with different progression paths to beat the pack. This pack also features the Miner Market which is an in-game shop which lets you buy and sell items to earn coins and spend them as a way of an economy to obtain or discard items that you either possess or so wish to acquire. With many dungeons to explore, such as battle towers, structures and villages to check out and conquer, this pack is a really nice one in terms of adventure. Number 6 Permafrost Eyes of the Storm The world is dead, it's been a week or so since the storm hit and there's no sign of ending. This is Permafrost, an endless storm in which the entire world has been frozen over with everything dead. This primal force of nature struck without warning, killing anything it touched. All you can do is survive, hoping for it to pass, except it's not going to. Welcome to the apocalypse. This five month passion project is the first installment of the creator's mod pack series and it's a hardcore apocalyptic survival type pack with a neat storyline behind it, pitting you against mother nature. With a brutal temperature system and all new mobs to make it a big challenge, this is a great pack for players looking for a challenge as you'll have to use all of the tools at your disposal to survive in the wasteland. You're basically forced to use everything at your fingertips tips to survive in a terrifying world with resources obtained from combat and a system making you utilize fire to effectively damage enemies. As you play, you learn more about the world and the story behind what happened. With nearly 200 quests in a hardcore questing system, there's a mini boss generator that creates weird and interesting unique undead foes to face. This mod pack will make your life hell, containing multiple magic and tech mods for savvy creators and builders out there. There's also many features in terms of custom recipes and other mods with an all new soundtrack which is stitched together using the original Minecraft composer's music C418. Number 5 Ragnarok Mod 6 
Boasting a collection of over 300 mods with a lot of quests, magic and tech, exploration features and dungeons, this pack is truly immense. You can play with this pack with many different styles of mods, some that include agriculture and new dimensions like the Undergarden and new dragons. With mods like Extra Boats, Gateways to Eternity, Batania, Extreme Reactors, more villagers and Harvest Craft 2 to name a few, this is an interesting mod pack to play. The end in this pack is beautiful as it's received a facelift from the mods inside of it, adding all new amazing forests and mushroom forest biomes as well as dark undergroves with chains. The Better Dungeons mod also adds deep underground chilling chasms to explore and plunder. There's also a jellyfish field biome based upon Spongebob that's underwater which is a super cool little easter egg. The Twilight Forest mod is also featured here which is really gripping and it's abundant in structure and tough bosses. For fun mods there's Ratlantis which is a dimension which is based upon rats and Sonic Craft which takes you into the world of Sonic the Hedgehog for an 8-bit experience. Number 4 Life in the Village 2 This pack is one of my favourites in terms of the quality and how it's been finely constructed. It's a pack based around town building featuring mine colonies. The pack can be played in a very casual or a challenging way depending on your preference. The aim is to build a thriving town with an impenetrable fortress or you can make a calm little fishing village, everything is basically down to your creativity. This is a vanilla plus type pack that features close to vanilla type gameplay and mechanics with an amazing mod list, adding new NPCs that work for you in your colony that you can build with or that can build for you, gather resources, upgrade buildings and more. You have access to many different lights to decorate with, immersive windows, roofs, gutters and bridges for building your world with, including interior items in the form of furniture and storage drawers for storage and display. There's new building materials from the Quark mod for impressive structure crafting, new chests based on nearly every base type of material, and new beehives which are based on newer types of wood variants for an example. You can get a pet with a doggy talents mod which comes with a new dog leveling system. The better fishing mod lets you catch over 30 brand new fish by utilising brand new rods, hooks and baits to make fishing more immersive. Bees are now a lot more productive helping you acquire coal, diamonds and highly sought after goods. There's also a large collection of crops and trees to use. The mod uses better caves, better strongholds and more with underground villages and a large collection of new mobs from deers to crabs and whales. The vein miner system makes resource gathering less tiresome and easier and the questing system in the mod pack is amazingly designed with a nice progression path to whiz you through as you play. Number 3 Dungeons, Dragons and Space Shuttles this hardcore adventure and expert questing pack is the result of 24 months of development, with nearly every recipe being modified. This is a large pack containing magic and tech mods which are bound to work together. Magic mods give you advantages in technology and technology also helps with magic as you can follow both paths that complement each other to construct more powerful things. All machines in this pack utilise items from other mods and they're crafted in different workbench types, requiring many resources to master everything. There's many different exploration and adventure mods in the pack to make things as fun as they can be. For questers you'll be happy as there's 1750 or more quests in both English and Russian languages. These quests are made to fit well together and guide you through a path in the mod pack, giving you rewards to help you with the other quests, guiding you towards the end objective. There's many new additions to food, brewing and agriculture and awesome adventure mods such as new airships that you can build, dangerous ruins and roguelike dungeons to explore, or stargates that let you travel to other dimensions. This pack is rather heavy so 8GB of RAM is recommended at least and it's best if your CPU is also fairly decent. Number 2 Roguelike Adventures and Dungeons if you're a fan of roguelike dungeon crawlers or generally exploring the world for structures and dungeons to loot, this mod pack is for you. Especially if you're tired of the oversaturation of the countless tech mod packs and just want something that isn't limited, then I featured this pack to suit you in particular. This is focused on the fun stuff, namely adventure and exploration, looting and fighting. Navigate through dungeons, improve your skills, Upgrade your gear and power through quests to conquer new dangerous dimensions. There's so much to do, but as you get better gear, mobs also gain health and they adapt so you have to beware. Explore Tropicraft, the Betweenlands, the Twilight Forest, the Aether, the Beneath 
and Cavern 2 for new dimensions where you'll find awesome landscapes, new mobs and mysteries to uncover. For mazes and traps, step through dimensional doors. The pack features many new structures both underground or upon the surface with new bosses, an RPG style magical spell system with a more simple progression path, tameable dragons that you can defeat and shear for scales to make armour, doors and portals to faraway lands, RPG style unique mobs with more varieties to them, quests to guide you through and offer a challenge, a reward system in coins and items for completing quests, scaling difficulty to add more toughness to the playstyle, airships to explore the skies of the Aether, new modifiers to make weapons and tools just that more interesting, a skill and equipment levelling system, more advanced backpacks and containers, improvements to companions such as wolves, and some more features I didn't feature. Number 1 Better Minecraft Many people told me to cover this perk recently and it's very fitting for this particular list. This mod pack is available in both Fabric and Forge mod loader form, although I'm primarily covering Forge, you can check out the Fabric pack too which is usually more up to date, although they do differ slightly I believe. The mod pack features 1.17 and 1.18 Caves and Cliffs update features, letting you delve into the deep dark dimension below zero block level. There's also features from the 1.19 Wild update which was announced recently, such as the mangrove swamp biome, new frogs, tadpoles, chest boats and mud blocks. The three new Minecon 2021 mob vote mobs, namely the Alley, the Copper Golem and Glare are also added and featured in here in concept form through mods. This pack has over 100 plus new biomes both in the overworld, nether and also the end dimension, with five new additional dimensions to explore with an end game storyline and quests for the abyss dimension. These quests help you progress through in the pack to the further dimensions with mob kill challenges along the way. There's also a bunch of new animals, creatures and bosses scattered across the world and in the new structures and dungeons that spawn throughout. The mini map system lets you set new waypoints and navigate across the map easier. The end dragon egg is no longer useless as it is in vanilla because you can now hatch it and also have access to different dragon breeds too. This pack is mainly focused upon quality of life mods to make the original Minecraft vanilla much better in a way that it should have been, utilising over 200 plus new mods to bring new life to the game with lots of content to experience. It's recommended to run this pack with at least 6GB of RAM or more for a more optimal gameplay experience. YouTube says 97% of you are not subscribed so if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and slap the like button for more Minecraft mod videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I be the show, make a room, shake it, shaking it down. I be the with a high profile, everybody come on. We be the shakers with a crazy style, showing everybody how to enjoy a crazy wild. One time rocking to the sound, chilling women everywhere. I be the big down, swing at a hospital, super chicken. Baby, baby, come on, you better rockin' with me. I be the hot shot player from nowhere to my.